more question before I kick it over to, to that. I know you went into detail about this with Pablo Torre on his podcast ESPN Daily the other day, but can you tell us the origin of, of Bang? I, I was a student at Fordham, and of course I loved Fordham basketball. I went to all the games, home and road, and I started broadcasting the games. And when I sat in the stands, I would just, when a Fordham player hit a big shot, and there wasn't a three-pointer at the time, I, as a fan, I'd just yell out, bang. <laughs> and I tried it on the air at first. I didn't like it at first. I kind of shelved it, but then went back to it. And um, it's just, it's for me, it's a, it's a one-syllable word to make a call in a big moment where you don't have to override a crowd that's going crazy. Yeah. Well, um, do you know about all the memes that go on when it's <laughs> like, when Mike Breen says bang, but it's the other team. When it's, when, but when it's like when you're watching your team and Mike says Mike says bang for the, for the other team, because there is that ebb and flow. Like when you're watching Steph Curry and you say bang, if you're a Warrior fan, that's awesome. If you're playing against the Warriors, that bang that you say, that is the most deflating just like oh right because you love it but you only love it when you're a team do you other think about like the other side of that you're trying to make me feel guilty no i'm not i'm just saying that <laughs> no, it is no. such a beautiful I, thing a, but if I'm there's two of sides it. of it yeah I, i'm aware of it um i have three uh, adult children who tell me all these things that go on that i'm, I'm not <laughs> okay, aware of okay, okay. Media, and i have friends that constantly try and and uh, make me feel that guilt but no it's it's um and again it's so flattering to to mm. feel that that has something like that by the way um, I wasn't the first one to use Bang. One of the early, early broadcasters to ever do it was Johnny Most, the great Johnny Most. And I wasn't aware of this uh, until after I started using it, but his son Jamie uh, let me know that it was one of his dad's calls. And I, I you know, I've, I have such reverence for the Johnny Most, the Chick Hearns, the Marv Alberts, all yeah. the great announcers. Uh, but he was one that used it way back in the day when uh, when the Celtics hit big shots. Wow. Johnny Moe smoking the cigarettes and complaining about the refs uh, <laughs> on the air. Has there ever been a player who's come up to you and said, man, I love the way you said bang on that shot, or I can't believe you didn't say bang on this three that I hit. Has there ever been a player commentary like that to you? Chris Paul has come up a few times <laughs> and talked about it and and uh, told me, too, like, I get I get uh, people in the in the league who send me uh, pictures or, or videos of their sons or nephews when they hit a shot in a, in a game That's and they're yelling awesome. bang. In fact, he did this. You did it one time to me. You sent me a video. Oh, my kids. Yes. 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 So my kids would, uh, my, my, my youngest son, or my oldest at the time, he was on the uh, podium and uh, when we won the championship. But I would just replay the games uh, for him and just let him watch the games. And he was only, he was probably like four at the time. But like whenever Mike was like, bang, and then all of a sudden I hear my, my four-year-old repeating Mike Breen. <laughs> Breen, Mike Breen. He's like, yo, block by James. And I'm sitting here just like. Mike, I, I like I texted him. I was like, Mike, this is amazing. My kids love this, it's, and they're, they see, don't even know. The thing that you're not going to be so grateful for is when you go up for a shot you miss, and your kid goes way off. Way <laughs> That's way not off. They just, be my kids yell trash. Oh That's yeah, what my kids. See, yeah. No, it's Mike just, doesn't do that. It's just so incredibly flattering, and you know, as a fan myself, you just want to to do the right thing at at, at the right moment. You want to make sure you can you you do it right in terms of these players. They're so incredible. They're extraordinary talents, and when they do something special, you hope that you can at least give it the proper respect that it deserves. Well, we cannot wait to see you on the call for Game 6. Mike Breen, thank you so much for joining thank us you, here Luke. on NBA Today. He Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.